our answer in the project to the call made in the program uh, is a project on mapping how and with what consequences authoritative institutions such as national museums create long-standing values and identities in need of attention regardless of political preferences. So what are the answers to the title of this talk, Agents, Challenges, Visions and Consequences of National Museums Making in Europe? Well, the whole point of the project is that we do not have the answers yet. Usually agents are either presented from within an apologetic literature uh, written from the museum point of view as one more ingenious director, donor or scholar following the other on the road from less rational and autocratic rule to more scientific and democratic inclusion. Or with a more critical view uh, from more rustic acts of government to fine-tuned versions of governance, teaching new audiences their proper role, not by force, but by making it their own choice. The vision carried by Enlightenment had been added with strong urge to prove the reason and legitimacy of the current state as reflecting a national order of old origin and demanding consequences. Recently, the democratic culture of letting in people of all standing have been expanded to new immigrants, but also greeting traveling cosmopolitans to an ever more important part of the economy. Challenges are mostly of old standing related to the negotiations mentioned above, how to reconcile demands on expertise with democratic practices how to contribute with collections of old artifacts to issues on inclusions and creativity in the contemporary, globalized, and digitalized world, and how to respond to challenges to the national framing of the museum when global and regional powers, both below and beyond the nation, are pushing an agenda of sometimes contradictory values. Uh, this is a list of the, the partners in the project. Uh, in order to shape uh, cultural policy for an expanding uh, European Union, the Commission has have asked for more research on the working of cultural institutions. We will later have a presentation on, on uh, the next project in, in, in line in the same type of call from the Seventh Framework Program. Uh, the focus in our project is, as I said, an understanding, uh, on understanding the conditions for using the past in negotiations that recreate citizenship, as well as the layers of territorial belonging beyond the actual nation state. This is one of the quite few, not so many, uh, humanistic projects supported by the program run by the Commission. It has grown out of collaboration between university partners connecting uh, started with a network with young and senior cultural researchers supported by Marie Curie program a couple of years ago and will now work for three years from 2010 to 2013 and proceed by a series of investigations to move beyond the stereotypical ideas of museums as either a result of these outstanding heroic individuals or national factors exponents of a materialization of pure enlightenment ideas or outright ideological nationalistic constructs disciplining citizens into obedience. Project. And these are the areas of uh, research which I will uh, go through now. Uh, so you will see these um, titles once more. Um, the research is pursued through multidisciplinary collaboration between uh, the institutions I, I just show you in a series of sub-projects or uh, as everyone working in European projects learn to say work packages. It's, it's better just to learn that EU speak by now. Work packages studying institutional path dependencies, the handling of conflicts, modes of representation, cultural policy, and visitors' experience in national museums. 
understanding the cultural force of national museums will hopefully provide both citizens, professionals, and policymakers with reflexive tools to better communicate and create an understanding of the needs of policies in, in uh, Europe. The first work uh, within the project to start uh, is called Mapping and Framing Institutions, 1750 to 2010, National Museums Interacting with Nation Making. The overview uh, produced in this uh, uh, work package uh, is being made of the most important museums established to fulfill the function of a national museum in all European countries. And this will achieve several objectives also for the later work packages. Most of them uh, possible to attain only through the comparative method used. Surprisingly, this has never been done before. Uh, the first uh, project will then, we will work through the following days, gives us a general pattern of what museums were initiated and realized, by whom, with what agenda, and with what consequences for the state-making process. In the first step, it is the interaction with the political state-making that is analyzed one hypothesis is that the actual history of state making is of importance for the role possible to play by museums, since empires, old, well established, and unthreatened states did not have and still do not have exactly the same needs or options as nations more recently struggling to form a nation state. Finland and Norway show different patterns than Sweden and Denmark. Greece, Italy, and Germany have partly other priorities than France and the UK. The role of empires in initiating colonial museums at home or abroad is also considered. In the second project, led by Dominique Poulon in Paris, our research penetrates deeper into the explicit narratives of the unity and destiny of the nation, as well as the opposite, the treatment of conflict and heritage wars that exists in all nations. There is a tension between striving towards a hegemonic representation of the cultural and political history of a country and oppositional voices of many kinds coming from other nations and minorities, as well as regional aspects, class and gendered tensions that demand representation in these prestigious arenas or a new narrative assigning them a more prominent role. The conflicts over heritage range, range from a targeted destruction of heritage in war via international battles for the ownership of artifacts to issues of how to represent or integrate minorities. All narratives are, however, not explicit. In the third project, uh, led by Simon Nell, the implicit message of architecture, city plans, and the whole assemblage of national museums will be interpreted in a number of states. Art museums are especially interesting since they do claim to stand for universal aesthetical values, but at the same time assess narratives in several dimensions on the grandeur of the host uh, carried by the arrangement of collections and exhibitions. Another aspect of the spatial arrangement of national museums is the relationship between representations centralized to the capital and the existence of various distributed performances of the national in a series of local, regional, historic and art museums, for example, in Italy. How is the national constructed in collecting and interacting with regional identities and marginalized communities? The third dimension in that work package uh, uh, arise from new forms of distribution, and that will be to interpret the impact of the, the new assemblage made by digital museums, like the representation of communities that goes beyond the individual museums with help of new technology. National museums have from the start uh, been utopian visionary projects. The image here is 
representing a real utopian building of a, a, a castle in, in Vilnius, uh, which has been recently erected out of nearly nothing. So this is an example of a really utopian visionary project carried by politicians, intellectuals, scholars, and citizens in the state and in civil society. Uh, the hopes of cultural politicians to use museums as tools for education, tourism, integration, interplay with the formulation of national museum professionals, scientists and directors themselves. In the fourth project, led by Arne Burger Amundsen in Oslo, this dynamic is explored for the last two decades on both national and on a European policy-making level. 